Hello everyone, welcome back to my Lush Bath Cocktails. Now, I know it's been a really long time since I filmed one, so I wanted to make it extra special. Um, I'm going to be doing a three-part wedding movie series since it is wedding season. Um, last weekend I was the maid of honor, or matron of honor, in one of my good friend's weddings. And then I went to a wedding last night, and then in July, one of my best friends is getting married, so I'm a bridesmaid in that wedding as well. So, it definitely is wedding season, so I thought it would be really fun to do a wedding series. Now, obviously, this one is bridesmaids. I already have the second one planned, but the third one, I'm going to let you guys let me know what you want. Um, as far as the movie goes, and then I'll choose a cocktail to go with that. So, um, just down in the comments for this video, write down what your favorite wedding movie is, and then I'll look at all your suggestions and see which one um, really inspires me the most as far as creativity goes, and I'll choose that one for my third wedding cocktail. Um, now these might not be all in a row, they might be throughout the next month or so. So just so you know, it might not be the next, you know, three videos, it might only, it might be, you know, within the next month. So, anyways, um, my setup here today is just some tissue paper flowers that I had left over from a bachelorette party that I did and actually a baby shower so I'm just using what I have around the house and of course here's the movie Bridesmaids now I know I do have some younger viewers and this definitely is an adult movie so it's this is unrated but it was rated R in the theaters and very rightfully so. So if you haven't seen this and you're under 17, I would wait to see that until um, your parents think it is appropriate. So anyways, I kind of went with the movie case theme and have a lot of pink decor. And let's go ahead and get into the cocktail since I've been talking for a couple minutes. Alright, so... As far as the bath bomb goes, I really thought I could have, you know, gone with pink bath bomb. And that's what I would suggest to you guys if you don't have the fluffy egg. Um, but I'm going to use the fluffy egg bath bomb. This is just half of it. And it smells like snow fairies, so like cotton candy and vanilla. Um, I'm really excited to use it because I haven't used it yet, so that's why I really want to use it today. Um... But the pink bath bomb would be perfect because it has all those little heart confetti pieces that come out of it. And that's perfect for a wedding movie. So feel free to use that if that's what you have or if you don't have the fluffy egg. It's just like the ultimate girly smell, I feel like. Then, as far as the bubble bar goes, I have sunny side here. And I thought this was perfect because it's an extravagant bubble bar. I feel like it makes you think um, of very elegant times. And it's kind of great if you've had a bad day. It really uplifts you. So I kind of thought about Annie, which is Kristen Wiig's character during the movie, and Lillian, uh, which is Maya Rudolph. They're best friends, but they have some hard times throughout the movie and get in a few fights. But at the end, they come back together again, so... I was kind of thinking of this bubble bar um, mending the relationship. And of course, look at all the glitter just from touching it once. So this is definitely a glittery bubble bar. It's going to make all your bubbles very gold. It's beautiful. Then for your bath melt. I always think these bath melts look like a cupcake. I think that's what they're supposed to look like. And in the movie Annie which is Kristen Wiig. Um, her character has owned a bakery called Cake Baby, but when the movie starts, it's already been a failed business. Um, but she loves to make cupcakes. This, there's this scene where she makes this beautiful cupcake with fondant and everything. Um, it's just, a, I love that scene for some reason. She's so talented. So I thought this would be perfect to go along with that aspect. Um, and it just really smells like a marshmallow, very candy-like and sweet. 
So this cocktail is really going to smell like sweet with a hint of citrus. Um, then for my um, shower gels or soaps, I got two shower gels out. I have one shower gel and one shower jelly. Um, if you do want to use bar soap, you could use like the Godmother or even Sexy Peel if you want to bring out the citrus more. But I grabbed a bottle of Snow Fairy to go along with the bath bomb smell and um, just very vanilla and cotton candy smelling. Or um, you could go with iced wine. This is the limited edition shower jelly from Christmas and definitely smells tropical. Remember I cut mine up into little chunks um, and just use one per shower. Honestly I could probably cut them down even more um, and still have plenty. Um, I keep them in the freezer as you can see and this says a superbly fruity tropical frosty shower jelly to wash your body with and your hair too. Um, so there's just a lot of celebrate in the, celebrating in the movie and obviously that usually in movies means drinking so I thought it would be good to include iced wine. Then for my shampoo and conditioner I just um, was thinking of sweet and fruity so of course I love juicy I'm gonna bust into that today can't wait very sweet like pineapple and papaya um, love that one and then American cream which it says it's strawberries and cream but I really think like a strong vanilla with just a little hint of berry so um, there's the shampoo and conditioner also I thought it'd be good to use a lip scrub this is the bubblegum lip scrub it tastes just like snow fairy so anytime I can connect the dots with the main bath bomb or the main bubble bar I will in a cocktail and then to finish off I was thinking of something decadent since weddings usually are decadent so I'm gonna finish with the vanilla delight lotion very very rich vanilla it says vanilla and almond lotion so that's probably where the extra richness comes in because it has an almond in it as well so there is my cocktail and I will see you in the bathtub okay so listen to this I was running the water and I was getting out the broken pieces from my so-called fluffy egg and it said immaculate exception and I was like, oh, well, I didn't think this was smelling completely like Snow Fairy, like it was supposed to. So I kept smelling it closer, and I was like, this doesn't smell Snow Fairy-ish. It almost smells like chocolate. So I got online and looked, and it has grapefruit and lemon oils and vanilla, which combined somehow smells like chocolate, it says. So... That's just like a major blonde moment for me when I'm actually dark brunette. But anyway, the whole theory was to use something Snow Fairy scented. But I can make a connection that the chocolate scent from the Immaculate Eggception is just like Annie's Bakery when she used to make rich chocolate desserts. And this is going to be a true test to see if these scents go together well. Um, I'll put an annotation right here um, to let you guys know what I thought. Otherwise, do use a fluffy egg or the Think Pink bath bomb. So, you know, whatever. I like to try out things for you guys and see how it ends up working, so I'll live on the edge. I'm tempted to pull out my fluffy egg bath bomb that I do have, but I'm going to walk on the wild side today and try the Immaculate Eggception. So, I'll have to let you guys know. So, I have, I'm going to use the center egg that smells just like the outer part that smells like chocolate. It's a very fast fizzing bath bomb, as you can tell. And then I'm going to throw in my melting marshmallow moment, just a fourth of it. Okay, and I just crushed up my half of my sunny side bubble bar. So, this is kind of going to be like a citrus orange candy bath. So, this could be really good or 
really bad. We'll see. Um, I just wanted to point out my new bath pillow. I'm like obsessed with it. If you turn on the button, it has a massager in it. It's wonderful. And it was only like $20 from Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'm really a fan of that. Okay, so I've let the bubble bar soak up like I usually do. So I'm ready to hit the jets. And this is smelling actually really good. So maybe I've hit a jackpot. Okay guys, so I just smelled the water and I'm like so excited. It's like a sweet chocolate orange. I cannot wait to take this bath. So sometimes just by throwing in random things, you make a great bath cocktail. Because um, I never would have put those together unless it was by accident. So take some risks. You never know. You might come up with the perfect bath cocktail. So I'm going to enjoy this bath and make sure to comment down below what wedding movie you want me to use for my third bath cocktail in my wedding bath cocktail series. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.